Welcome everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and let's make this game. Now this game is going to be fairly cool and it's going to be fairly different, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk a little bit more about the bigger concepts in game development and design. Let's go ahead and let's make this game. We'll call this Follow the Leader. Uh, we'll call this for iPhone. And one actually, one thing that you should know about uploading to the App Store, if you want to say for iPhone, you have to capitalize the P. If you don't, you fail uh, the certification, which I've actually done a couple times. So that's something that's cool. I added a production number, but you don't have to. Make sure it's Swift Sprite Kit in iPhone. Okay create the project here and let's go ahead and let's run it just to make sure that everything is indeed working here all right so everything is, is working and the simulator is working and everything like that here let's hop into the game scene while that's loading and look at that wonderful okay let's kind of drop that off here and let's go and let's delete all our extraneous code for now we'll just delete all of this here I delete the comments too because we don't necessarily need them. Okay, so let's go and let's set up our game variables here. So we'll add in variables. We'll call this leader. Make it equal to sk sprite node, and then we're going to say var collectible here. Make that equal to sk sprite node, and then we're going to add in the var player because we need a player, of course. Sk sprite node and var we're going to call this block avoid one make that equal to sk sprite node and then we're going to call this var block avoid two make that equal to sk sprite node and there we go so let's add in an lbl main so we will say that this is an sk label node this time and by the way you can always pause and make sure that everything is good to go. Uh, we're just setting up some variables here, so nothing too important if you uh, want to make sure that uh, you, you can pause it. All right, so next thing we need to do is add in the sizes. Okay, so we're going to be using the CG size, and let's add in a var. We'll call this leader size. Make that equal to CG size. Okay with a height here and we'll maybe make the leader 80 by 80 that's probably a good size here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy everything including the space and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a var we'll call this collectible size and just paste that in here var we'll call this player size paste it in and then var block avoid size and paste it in. Now, you see how fast that was? That was pretty fast. So you can do that uh, here. And one thing, when I'm making this, uh, making games outside of a tutorial, then what happens is that I end up being really, really fast with it. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's change the size up. We'll make the collectibles 10 by 10, make them decently small. What we'll also do is add in the player size. We'll maybe make the player 50 by 50. That's probably a good size. And remember, we can always change these later if we don't want to. And we have the block of void size. Make that 20 by 20. Okay, so now we have the sizes going on here. Let's add in a var. We'll call this leader position. And we'll make that equal to a CG point. And what that CG point is going to be is it's going to keep track of the leader position in, in case we want to do something with that leader position later. Let's add in some colors here. We'll say this is a var. We'll call this off black color. Make it equal to UI color. And that color, of course, is going to be RGBA values. And the off black color will make 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2 and the CG float will be 1.0. We're gonna call this var off white color. And again, we'll make it equal to UI color, okay? And then this is gonna be 0 0.98, 0 0.98, and 0 0.98, and 1.0. Okay, so there we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in this orange custom color. And I happen to like the UI color dot orange color I actually like that quite a bit. 
if you want to add your own custom orange color, you're more than welcome to. But this is a very standard color scheme, which I highly recommend that you like as well. So we have uh, the, uh, we also need to, uh, we'll be adding in a leader uh, circle speed. So we'll call this var leader circle speed. And this is going to be a double because we're going to be using it a double and I like to use in the decimal place. All right, so let's add var, we'll call this drop speed. We'll add in a double is equal to 2.0. We'll add in a var, we'll call this block avoid speed. And this is again will be a double equals to 2.0. And then we'll add in a var here, we'll call this block spawn time. And these variables will become very apparent when we use them. Okay, double. And you can see how many doubles there are, by the way. So, and we'll make this one 0 0.9. All right, that's probably pretty good. We can always change these later here. We're going to add in a touch, touch location, and we'll make that equal to a CG point. And we'll add an is in touch is equal to true. And we'll add an of our is, is game over is equal to false. Okay. We'll also add in a score variable. And then we'll also add in a block spawn amount so we can keep track of the amount of block spawning and we'll keep that to one for now and remember is in touch and is game over our game state variables and you need these if you want to have uh, different kinds of states in the game so like for example is the player alive is the player you know have a power up etc so you might have a lot of those um, if you have a lot of them you can even put them in a struct but we can go ahead and add an a struct and that name is going to be uh, physics category. And we're going to go to static let, uh, we'll call this player, is equal to u int 32 is equal to 1 static let. And then we're going to say block avoid 0 is equal to or, and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to speed things up here. So things might get a little bit quick, so you can always pause it just in case. But I'm just going to copy this UN32. You're going to go to static let, and we're going to call this block avoid one. And you want to make sure that all of these have the same capitalization. Static let, and we're call this leader. And then static let, and we're going to say collectible. So that should be it. Player, the two block avoids the leader in the collectible. Now these integers need to be different numbers. And the way that this is works is that sprite kit will determine which number is colliding with which number here. Okay. So that pretty much works pretty well. And let's go to our did move to view. We'll go to self dot background color is equal to orange custom color. Just like that here. And that will give the background a nice orange color. Let's go ahead and let's run it just to make sure that everything is working so far and that you didn't make any mistakes. And we have this nice orange color for the background there. And I think that pretty much wraps this up. See you in the next tutorial.